Uh, Funkinator here, Ed. We got the good smellers. We're all here. Fragrance Republic, I am with. Bradley Skaggs. And? Francois Duquesne. How do you spell that? Yeah. <laughs> Duquesne. D-U-Q-U-E-S-N-E. <laughs> Francois. Uh, Bradley. Um, they are the creators of uh, an amazing... I don't know what you, what do we what do we call this? It's, it's a fragrance club. Fragrance club. There you go. The world's oh, very first fragrance club. Yeah. Okay. And it's called the Fragrance Republic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, tell us just a little bit about it as we're we're here and kind of sniffing it and experiencing. We're simply making accessible what perfumer creates in their lab straight to the consumer. No one. So there's no there's no. Um, no evaluations, evaluations no, or budgets, budgets no uh, marketing nothing. plans, target awesome. groups. Target groups. Target groups. I'm, I'm in contact with perfumers uh, for a very long time for my work, and they keep telling me our best fragrances, they all stay on our desk or in our hidden drawers, away, so they're hidden yeah. away. They're never released actually because they, it's, we always have a budget constraint or kind of someone doesn't like it. I said, okay, you guys open your drawers, mm-hmm. we'll release it to the Republic, yeah. you know. To the Republic. And if a perfumer comes with a fragrance, we consider it as whole and perfect. So we're not like evaluating, it's good. So you're not, not looking good. to make changes to the fragrance no. either? No. What, no. what you experience no. is was what, what they've offered. Is, right. Yeah. And for the first time too, like you smell and go, yeah. okay. You have, you, you yeah. have your story? Okay, here, uh, Natalie, <laughs> you want to create a story about uh, iris and saffron and how you like mixing it in cooking and how... How we turn into a turn center. Into, and say, okay. You know, we take your formula, it's whole and perfect, we release it to the Republic, the Republic will decide if they like it or not. Or not, right. And, and I think you'll, you'll see that if you smell all, of, all eight of them now. And you're up to eight, and you, it's kind of cool, the way that they them. created this market too is, they, they literally dedicate a month for a perfumer, so each perfumer actually gets their own month, actually their own... two months, basically. Two months. Yeah. 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 Okay, so there's about six a year that exactly. are going to be released? Yeah. Okay, yes. so every two months... So um, members receive the 15 mil bottle bi-monthly. Okay, so and if then you, what we do on the so the months, membership. So like you said, yeah. this is a fragrance club. Yeah. So what does the club actually offer? Yeah. Well, what's so the, the difference? club does have two things. One is you're receiving the fragrance. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the off months when you don't receive a bottle of fragrance, you receive small samples of submissions that perfumers have submitted mm-hmm. to us. Okay. Um, where they can the members can then go and rate and decide if it should be a, a candidate for a release. Okay. Um, for also, release, meaning something that would be that open. would be produced to become a fragrance republic. Okay. Fragrance. Okay. So we're kind of involved in the creative yeah. process. And cool. Yeah. The creative direction is not us. The creative direction is, is the, the people club. are the it's members the of the club itself. Right. It's the idea okay. of the republic. Okay. And then, uh, because it's a club too, we do things like this: events with you guys. We do master classes. We have perfumers come from Paris or wherever they are awesome. in the world, and sometimes it's a deconstruction of a fragrance, like Amelie did, or mm-hmm. other times it's just a conversation about their inspiration and okay. their career. But either way, nice. it's it's bringing the idea of um, fragrance to people and helping to educate, really. And it's getting people involved, and yeah. I think that's really cool because yeah. otherwise you just walk into a Macy's and you pick up the latest release from Chanel and you walk out. But yeah. this really gets you involved, and you get to, like you said, you get to see the creative process, if anything. Yeah. Um, Our and, intention is really to, uh, it's for the discovery and uh, the experience and about the reality. Mm-hmm. So we have absolutely no problem to put perfumers and consumers together. But mm-hmm. as, as I grew up, and I grew up in the south of France, the perfumer was untouchable. He was like in mm-hmm. his little bubble, like and in his yeah. ivory tower. Yeah. And, oh, c'est le parfumeur. And they weren't even recognized, <laughs> though, for, the, for what they made. It was always the brand on it, right? Guy, yeah. you know? and then now they get set behind the curtain. Uh, right, uh, right. The idea of the Republic is mm-hmm. like, no, this is, this is a, 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 a human being but is actually accessible and sure. some of them are actually even talking with passion about their craft. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I've spoken to a few now and uh, I mean it's amazing to see uh, Rob Swagger for one, um, I mean, you know this uh, Jean-Claude another one. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't uh, get enough of our club. And I think it's about yeah. sharing. Police Becker, yeah. It's, yeah. it's about sharing the, their, their passion and their craft also too and, and uh, there is a reality to tell about yeah. perfume but it's important uh, Perfumers are chemists, and they have uh, a know-how that is like so unique. They acquired over the years, 
and it's not just about mixing this oil with this oil and oil, making yeah. like yeah. you're not taking a Is white it? wine with yeah. a red wine and you make a rosé right that's not the way it no. goes you they're know? talented like chemists <laughs> no but many people they're artistic, they're artistic. <laughs> talented chemists many people think that perfumery is about yeah. that you know it's just yeah. mixing ingredients it's actually right. much more complex more than, than this yeah sure and um, uh, so it tells a story it's something that uh, you know as a as, a, as, as feet as crown sure so and I think that's what, that's what I want we want also to spread to the consumer with the Republic saying uh, there's no bullshit here that's the way it's made there's synthetics there's natural they're sure. all good yeah, they're all is. okay yeah. you know yeah. they just have different functions and then let the Republic decide mm -hmm. how exactly. long have you guys been out there? so we launched it last October last October oh. a little over a year uh, but it's, it's probably in the making for three years now three yeah we've years. been working yeah. for about a long, long time, time like yeah. it's, yeah. a, it's, it's a, an internet platform it's a, it's a content uh, I mean, all these guys, uh, you need to, at the beginning, to, I wouldn't say persuade, because as soon as we approached these guys, they were really enthusiastic. They're interested. I think that's and amazing. It's awesome I mean, to see such, such top Shibin. designer, um, uh, top, yeah. you know, brand um, designers, perfumers of, uh, I mean, as you see here, there's the Amo, she's made Amo, 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 Julie Massey works for, Hermes, for Gourmet, Gourmet, she yeah. did it's amazing. Her, fragrance. She's a very young perfumer. She hasn't released anything. She's she's just very new, and we we'll give her a chance. Yeah. She did. Uh, uh, it's very mugglers. Womanity. 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 Yeah. Womanity. Yeah. Dolce she's sure. a big, big perfumer. Let's talk about the newest one, because yeah. right now we're actually yeah. here. Like I said, good smells here, eight. and and when we're here for the launch of number eight, which is which is, uh, well, I personally like it a lot. Well, let's go check it out. Okay. Cool. Right, sure. So we're here now is smelling um, the newest installment, and this is number eight, yeah. and this was actually created by the perfumer uh, Jean, Jean Christophe Harault. Is that the right way to say it? Jean Christophe Harault. Harault. Yeah. So uh, we we gotta smell it because I mean, there's I hate to speak of, about a fragrance where. Thank you. I smell uh, it a million times, but I still like smelling you know, this one. That, that's great. No, that's but really it's, nice it's, it's like a lot. trend actually in that industry and with many blogs, etc., people talk about the fragrance that they haven't smelled. So, please, let's, let's talk about something <laughs> that we smelled all. And uh, because it's about that. Mm -hmm. uh, to, the, to the perfumer, Jean-Christophe is actually a, a senior guy now. Uh, he works for a fragrance house that is an American fragrance house called IFF, International Fragrance mm -hmm. uh, Affair. Yet, he's based in Paris, but he does a lot of international pro projects. So. Uh, he did a lot of different projects, both in the mainstream, so you can tell uh, he did uh, Esprit, Fragrances, uh, Saint, Saint Laurent, Laurent Comte des Garçons, Saint Laurent, sure. and Chopin. also some so-called niche uh, projects like Comte des Garçons, this amazing mm -hmm. green that I really like. Mm -hmm. yeah. As I met Jean-Claude in his lab for the first time, he was so shy, he was very shy, he's one of the sh shyest, like shyest yeah. in the profession. Uh, but he, he, he has a true passion for um, uh, aroma. That's uh, how he uh, speaks. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and uh, yeah. osmentus in general, osmentus that is used <coughs> in the tea, actually. So Tell people what osmentus is, because a lot of people don't know. It's osmentus a is, is, a, is a, a type of a, a, a flower right. and plant that uh, the Asians uh, put in their tea. Okay. Uh, and also extract for a uh, naturally extract because of its uh, aroma because of its aroma yeah. you can both uh, uh, it's an apricot like aroma. yeah the, yes I mean kind of sweet. yes yes sweet very, very sweet and you can both uh, have it as, as a tea or like basically both eat it and ingest it mm -hmm. and, and also mm -hmm. smell it mm -hmm. and wear it and yeah so uh, he wanted to do a fragrance around osmentus that is, uh, how can I say, it? He, he would tell it better than me, but uh, gourmand, you know, sure. uh, that, uh, that you want to eat. You know. okay. So the woman, my definition of his fragrance is that uh, if a woman uh, wears it, you could want to eat her up. Eat her yeah. up. <laughs> All right. Wow. You want to eat her up? <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> I think what makes that uh, effect is the apricot that mm -hmm. he has at the start. So it. it, it yeah, it's just for says, a quick rundown of some of the notes because it's it. I've never seen notes blended like this. You have bergamot on the top, apricot, 
orange blossom, mm -hmm. which I definitely you can you get the uh, the aura of the apricot and the orange blossom kind of rounds it off that sweetness. So the fruity yeah. part is there. And then you have the osmanthus, and the jasmine is one of the top players yes. for me. I, I I like jasmine a lot, Agreed. and I picked up the jasmine in it immediately. Yeah. And then in the base, you told me, and I'm not at least my subscribers know that I'm not a huge patchouli fan, but I'm not getting any patchouli in this at all. So I'm sure it's going to evolve on the skin, but I can't smell it. I can't pick it out. It, it, it will evolve on the skin, but in that formulation, it's more like a, as, a, as a bottom base. Mm. Uh, or, uh, which I would, I would have to ask John Claude, as a, as a binder also, I mean, to sure. make the, the okay. entire thing coherent. Sure. But it has a certain smokiness, Mm. Can you can you tell? <coughs> Not really. It's got some little oomph some to it. That, that's, you know, that may be that the, little the, the, sure. Yeah, it's, a little oomph. Mm. Mm. The oomph is, mm. is the M -M -P -H. <laughs> That's a technical term, by the way. The technical term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. But oomph. Beautiful fragrance. Very, very, very nice yeah. fragrance. Mm. So. Awesome. This is uh, Jean-Christophe's release, right? Yeah, Jean-Christophe. So next week I'm back in Paris. Okay. Uh, on the um, and I'm meeting him in his lab, right. and we're gonna do actually a little video like you guys are doing cool. right now Good. about him. He's gonna tell much more about his fragrance. Body training. Uh, Good. And um, we interview all our perfumers. Yeah. Nice. So and some of them come here. come here. Then they, we do that. Good. Yeah. It's great. The it's perfumer very of uh, August, Constance over there. She, she'll come here to New York uh, in August. Okay. Be beginning of uh, September or end of August. Okay. To do a master class. That will be a great event. She's based out of Florida. It's easier. To get more information about the Fragrance Republic, go to the Fragrance Republic. Net. Dot net. Um, for any events and perfumers that are coming up, you guys can always go to centrails.com and under the events section, um, you know, their, their latest releases and whoever's coming and events will, will pop up there. So, guys, thank you. Hey, this is awesome. Nice to have you guys. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Enjoy, thanks. Thank you guys. See you later.